السلام علیکم دوستو یونیورسٹی آف انجینئرنگ اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی میں انجینئرنگ کے پروگرام میں ایڈمیشن کے حوالے سے یا پاکستان میڈیکل اینڈ ڈینٹل کونسل میں ایم بی بی ایس اور بی ڈی ایس کے ایڈمیشن کے حوالے سے جو اینٹی ٹیسٹ کنڈکٹ ہو رہا ہے اس کے حوالے سے ہم وہاں پہ آپ کو کچھ اہم سوالات کے بارے میں بتائیں گے یہاں پہ ہم فزکس سے ریلیٹڈ ملٹیپل چوائس کوشچنس ود ایکسپلینیشن آپ کو یہاں پہ ہم بتائیں گے اور یہاں پہ یہ سیکنڈ پارٹ ہے اس میں انجینئرنگ میڈیکل یونیورسٹی کالجز میں داخلہ کے حوالے سے فزکس سے ریلیٹڈ جو ملٹیپل چوائس کوشچنس ہیں خاص طور پہ لائٹ میٹر انٹریکشن کے حوالے سے وہ بھی ہم آپ کے ساتھ شیئر کرتے ہیں آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں انوویشن چینل ایجوکیشن کے حوالے سے جاب کیریئر کے حوالے سے ہمارے چینل کو سبسکرائب کریں اگر ابھی تک آپ نے سبسکرائب نہیں کیا تو سبسکرائب ضرور کریں سبسکرائب کرتے ہوئے بیل کے بٹن کو ضرور پریس کریں اپنے دوستوں کے ساتھ بھی شیئر کریں بیل کے بٹن کو پریس کرنا اس لیے ضروری ہے تاکہ جو ہی لیٹسٹ انفارمیشن اپلوڈ ہو فوری طور پہ آپ کے پاس پہنچ سکے ڈفرینٹ ملٹیپل چوائس کوشچن ریلیٹڈ ٹو لائف میٹر انٹریکشن آر گیون ان دس ویڈیو Question number one, light is an electromagnetic radiation. Light has dual nature. Sometimes it behaves like wave nature and sometimes it behaves like particles. Which of the following phenomena shows the particle nature of light? Option one, diffraction of light, photoelectric effect or constructive interference. And the correct answer is photoelectric effect. effect. Question 2. Light is a form of radiant energy that you can detect with your eyes. Light energy comes from chemical energy, electrical energy and nuclear energy. Light cannot pass through transparent objects, translucent objects or opaque objects. And the correct answer is opaque objects question number three electromagnetic spectrum of light is shown in figure in visible region of spectrum light consists of different colors as we move from blue to red color the wavelength of light space and frequency of light there are Three options, number one, increases, then decreases, decreases, increases, or remains same. And the correct answer is, the wavelength of light increases and frequency of light decreases. Actually, frequency and wavelength are inversely proportional to each other. If wavelength of light is increases, then its frequency decreases. And if wavelength of light is decreases, then its frequency increases, it's vice versa. Question 4. We see objects in the presence of light. If there is no light, we cannot see anything. Due to which phenomena we are able to see things? Option 1. Interference of light. Option 2. Diffraction of light. Option 3. Scattering of light. And the correct answer is scattering of light. Actually, we see the color which is reflected by the objects. If we are seeing blue color, it means the blue spectrum of light, a blue portion of wavelength is scattered from or reflected from that object and we are we, so we are able to uh, see the blue color. Five. In air space, light travels with speed 3 infinite power 8 meter per second scale. If we place some objects in the path of light, which phenomena will take place? Option 1. Reflection of light. Option 2. Transmission of light. Option 3. Absorption of light. Or all above. And the correct answer is all above. Actually, when light is incident on a medium, some part of the light is reflected back and other part of the light is absorbed in the material and some portion of the light is transmitted through the material. 
question number six when using optical fiber in data transmission the angle of incidence of the light source on the glass fiber should be less than critical angle greater than critical angle option three less than angle of refraction or greater than angle of refraction and the correct answer is option two greater than critical angle Question number seven. An important law in light matter interaction is law of refraction. When light or waves pass through a boundary separated by two different media such as glass or air, the relationship between incident angle and reflect angle is described by Snell's law, option two photoelectric effect. Option three diffraction formula or Planck's formula. So correct answer is option one that is Snell's formula. Question number eight. As we increase the angle of incidence, angle of refraction also increases. By increasing incident angle further. A point will come when reflect, refracted angle becomes 90 degree with the normal. In this situation, the angle of incident is said to be option 1 critical angle, option 2 total internal reflection, option 3 collimation angle, option 4 constructive interference. So correct answer is option 1 that is critical angle. And this critical angle is represented by theta c. Question number nine. If incident angle of light is increased more than critical angle, then no light will pass to the rare medium and all the light will reflect. This phenomena is called option one diffraction of light option two total internal reflection option three absorption of light and all above so correct answer is option two the total internal reflection question number 10 every material has an index of refraction which depends on the properties of that material. Index of refraction of air or free space is always 1. The index of refraction of all other material is always option 1 less than 1, option 2 greater than 1, and option 3 equal to 1. So, correct answer of this question is option 2 that is greater than 1. For further MCQs on light matter interaction, uh, other topics of physics, please subscribe innovations and keep in touch.